The next Dokkan Fest on JP Dokkan has been announced. How's it everybody, Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video, we are talking about the next Dokkan Fest coming to JP Dokkan. And it would appear to be a tag or join forces 17 and 18. Now this is really interesting because this was kind of a prediction we made during Golden Week, thinking what the next DFE would be before the Tana Bata celebration. We were a little bit off by a couple of months, but here it is. So let's go ahead, let's take a look and talk about some of the things we might see in the upcoming celebration. So we have a combination of that takes advantage of the eternal energy when the battle with the android siblings who are compatible with each other. Stay tuned for the new set super battle event. Now this is really interesting. Um, pretty clearly indicating, right, two androids working together. So this could mean a joint forces character, or it could mean a Dokkan Fest 18 with a supporting 17, since we already have a Dokkan Fest 17. But I mean, I think the likely scenario is a joined forces character, but we shall see in the coming days really excited uh for this it is definitely a unit that deserves a dokkan fest heck i would even go as far as to say it deserves a dokkan fest lr but nonetheless here we are so let's go ahead let's kind of take a look at the possibilities for their leader skill and who that might mean could be getting an easy a i think a very likely candidate given how they handled dokkan fest kale we're going to see them lead probably reps of universe 7 if not reps of universe 7 then universal survival saga i i kind of feel like the universal survival saga is the better way to go just because it will encompass more of the universal survival saga characters right um i think one of the biggest issues with this category is breaking it down into universe 6 universe 7 universe 11 right i i think it's just better that characters entering this just be it all be one and un encompassing category so i do hope they lead universal survival saga and not just reps of universe 7 but what does that mean as far as who could easy a because when we look at reps of universe 7 basically we're up to date on easy a super saiyan blue kaioken goku being the most recent easy a um for the category um there's basically nothing else unless we want to start jumping to 2020 units right um because when we look at the Awakened characters, I guess, I mean, there's a possibility of Minoka, but otherwise, all of these guys have been easy aid, right? Blue Kaioken's easy aid. All of the int types have easy aid, except for this guy. Maybe this guy could get a sub easy A. All of these guys have easy aid, except for the banner unit here. Everyone except for banner unit Krillin and Boo have easy aid. And then basically the only LR to not have easy aid here are the 2020 LRs, right? Or I guess this guy's 2019, right? Or no, he was 2020, isn't he? He, he was, let's, say, let's click on him here. 2020, yeah. So basically only for, as I said, for rep, uh, reps of Universe 7, 2020 is basically the only option so i don't think we're probably going to see an easy a here if we did it might be a sub easy a for this guy or this guy here um where i do think the easy a's are going to come this is why i think they're probably going to have universal survival saga as one of their leads is there's pretty much only one dokkan fest that's possible and that is uh str jaren here i do think he is probably the most likely candidate to see for an easy a during this celebration but who knows past celebrations this year have shown us that they will literally easy a anyone um but same with uh reps of universe 7 basically everyone who could easy a has easy a already aside from a few banner units and like new 2020 and beyond units i mean i suppose kefla there's an option for but if they didn't do her during K kale's celebration where it was most needed i doubt they're gonna do it here so jiren i think is the likely candidate um if they were to go anywhere else um you know they could throw a curveball and easy a this guy i hope they don't i hope they save it for a little bit later but there's always the possibility now if they wanted to go way out of left field in terms of what to bring um, I think it's important to remind yourselves that these two have 
EZA stickers in JP's data, meaning they're getting a sub EZA. Now, we all assume this was to be part of the future soccer celebration, but yet they've yet to be announced not even with lr goku black's announcement that happened earlier today which means they are likely part of an eza campaign for the celebration with this new um 17 and 18 which could mean we might not be getting universal survival saga up at all besides these two or this one in whatever their banner unit is which means we could actually see a different EZA and I think the likely candidate if it's to be androids themed probably this guy here the Dokkan Fest um, AGL 13 if not him there's always the possibility of these but I still think it's a bit too soon for these guys although they did release before the 13 um, LR EZAs are kind of weird in when they decide to EZA. They tend to be more tied to the campaign than anything else. So, could see these guys um, or this guy if they decide not to go with the Universal Survival Saga help. But that's just my opinion. We could also be seeing a new free-to-play unit, right, to buff up the Universal Survival Saga category. Now, they did fight, if I'm not mistaken, Ribri Ann and Annie, Annie Laza is his name. We could see a free-to-play Annie Laza in uh, come out of this who would be on the Universal Survival Saga category, um, although it probably won't help them or anyone else. Well, I, I mean, I guess technically he's an artificial life form, right? So it could help them, um, but hard to say. So um, not much else besides that and a bit of speculation for who we could see get an easy A. So anyways, guys, that is our video. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know what would you like to see from this celebration? This is going to be probably a short celebration. There might not be much here. There could be a part two LR, but last year didn't get a part two LR. So hard to say what's going to happen. Years prior have had one, but we don't don't know just yet but i would love to hear what you guys are interested in seeing in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha